Hope y'all are doing well. Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to my channel for those who are new. So today I'm going to do a comparison video on these small traveler's notebooks, which I promised y'all in prior comparison videos that I was gonna go over. So I have the Emma A6, the Mr. Darcy Pocket, the personal size Mr. Darcy, and the last being the Pocket Plus and the Creme Brulee. And all of these are Chic Sparrow. If y'all have been following me for a while, y'all know that that is the brand that I started with and I absolutely love them. So I don't foresee myself venturing to other brands uh, because I have looked at videos on YouTube about other brands that other people have. And I find that nine times out of 10, the review videos is that they prefer Chic Sparrow. And some of them have like five or six different brands that they have and they've been doing it for like 10 years and a lot of them choose Chic Sparrow. I think it's because the type of leathers that Chic Sparrow offers and the way they're stitched and the way the sizing is, like as far as how many books they can fit in there and just how it um, ages. Okay, enough of that. Okay, this is supposed to be a comparison video. <laughs> I'm running off uh, something else and you'll find in my videos I get chatty and sometimes I get sidetracked. This is the smallest out of all of them. This is the pocket. The reason why I say it's the smallest is because this is the pocket plus. You can actually fit more books in here because it has six strings. Oh, that's right. No. <sighs> I don't know if I want to take that out. Maybe I'll show you in a different clip, but I have my A6 Dalajean here and I have it positioned a certain way and I don't really want to mess with it because I don't want to ruin it, but I might show you in a different clip the um, six strings. Because it only has that, it's not as thick. So to do a comparison, it's an inch and a half wider. I have four booklets in this Pocket Plus, so with the amount of four strings in it. So that's that. As far as height, they're exactly the same. Okay, now, let me see. Okay, as far as the width with the pocket and the A6 is an inch. And height is half an inch. The personal the pocket size. I've done a side-by-side -side comparison for y'all when I did an unboxing for this. So if you haven't already seen that, I'll link it in the description below so that you can see the size comparison side-by-side. -side. But they are pretty much the same with, let me see. It's um, half an inch wider, the personal size is half an inch wider. And then the height, I think the height is 1.75 inches. So I'm using a measuring tape, so I know that's not accurate, but you know, it's the closest thing. So about 1.75 inches in height as far as the difference. And then to the Pocket Plus. The height difference is an inch and a half. And the width, Pocket Plus is, And again, this is with an, a sticker pocket insert and an A6 allergy. The width is, so you all can see. Okay, it's about 0.75 inches wider, the A6 is, to the personal size. This is rectangular. It's more rectangular than this right here. You may notice, like I said, if you've, pack this up, then it's gonna be more rectangular in shape, similar to the pocket, but because I don't have it packed up so much, it's more square. Kinda like the, um, kinda like the Emma. Okay, that is um, an inch and a quarter. 
taller in height from the Pocket Plus and A6 size, an inch and a quarter in height. Oh, and in this, it's, it's like they're the same. Only because I only have a style of jean here. If you fill it up, it's going to be more rectangular in shape. And then the A6. Let's try that here. It's 0.75 inches wider, the A6 is to the personal. And then the height. This way. Like 0.75, but I don't know. It's like in between. I can't really tell because, again, it is a measuring tape that I'm using. It's not very accurate. So it's about 70, between 75 to an inch as far as um, height. The personal size is taller in height. Okay. I think I got everything. I think I compared the, all the sizes, I believe. And if not, then I'm just gonna have to, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to revisit this. But anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this comparison video. These three are all Austin leather, and then this one is the only creme leather in the creme brulee color. Both of these are Mr. Darcy, which is the old toffee. From Shakespeare. It's now called Mr. Darcy. And then this is the Emma, which used to be called, oh my goodness, what did it used to be called? I forgot to mention that this right here fits a checkbook. And this was my very first Shakespeare purchase. And I went into a vortex of the traveler's notebook world. <laughs> I use this for my bigger handbags. I use this for my smaller handbags. And these two are my everyday carry, but I only use one at a time. This is my art journal, and this mainly stays home, but it is small enough and compact enough, so if I do want to take it along with me, then I can. So that's why I got a smaller size for my art journal. And then this is my brain dump commonplace book, and it has quotes, books that people recommend to me, or books that I'm considering reading, and websites that people recommend to me, or if there's a specific website that I see, then I'll just jot down the information, my ideas, and then I do a little bit of journaling in here as well. Okay guys, so I totally forgot to show you the writing space as I did with the other comparison video. Okay, here's the writing space between the pocket and the A6. So not a whole lot, but you do just have a little bit, maybe for washi tape. I mean, if you write really small, yeah, that's, that's a lot of writing space, but not for um, the majority of people. <laughs> All right, and then these two, the pocket and the personal. This is from Paper Penguin. This is something that I made based off of the dimensions of the pocket size notebooks. And of course, this is the A6 Stalogy. The difference there, the A6 and the personal. And just to give you an idea, uh, reference. This is a regular size pen. It's a Sharpie S Gel 0.7. So it's a little bit taller than the pocket, about the same height as the A6 exactly. Then of course the personal size is much taller than the height of the pen. The personal fits a regular size uh, checkbook. The A6 is about half an inch wider than the personal, but the personal is taller by, it almost looks like, an inch and a quarter. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, the comparison between the four small sizes. They're actually, um, the sizes go smaller than this, um, but I'm kinda iffy about the smaller sizes, y'all. I don't know if I wanna get like too, too small. I mean, I consider it, but for like my really teeny tiny purses, but I'm not sure yet. I'm still debating on that which I'll probably make a decision like several months away. <laughs>
the way that I make decisions on purchases because I want to I'd be absolutely sure that I love it when I get it. So that's it. Thanks so much to all my new subscribers, the ones that have been with me for all this time. And if you haven't already sub, please consider it. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Take care.